So to move on to the Munster Football League, we can open them up here and go a little bit closer. So I've done the same thing with the Munster Football League. And again, don't shoot me. I'm not, um, I, I, I don't have the most accurate uh, data available, but I've done my best to explain this. So the Munster F um, Football Association is uh, made up of and we start with the top here because these again i just based it on a the social media following the, the presence uh, that they have online so in this case here we can see that they've got 4.7 so i put them to the top but it doesn't mean that they're the biggest the actual biggest uh, in terms of numbers is the cork school boys league so the Cork Women's School and Girls League, this is um, quite interesting one because it's women and girls. Uh, so Cork Women's and School Girls Soccer League is what they're called. And they have 26 leagues with um, 42 clubs and 180 teams playing with 2,800 uh, approximate um, players. The Cork School Boy League, 11,000. So they're a little bit equivalent in terms of size to the NDSL. Um, super organization um, feeding into a very 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 successful um, you know province in terms of uh, in football it's actually really interesting to see just how strong like football is across the the the, the, the country and I'm talking about this coming you know coming kind of in from the cold with fresh eyes and um, I've been fascinated to see the strength of uh, teams uh, and uh, you know outside Leinster like in terms of because it's obviously that's where the, the big numbers are um, uh, in the FAI schools both uh, post primary and uh, so the FAI schools primary schools and then also to see the the, the teams from Donegal and Clare doing so well uh, it's obviously you know I'm just talking because of the sheer numbers and you would you would think that things will be weighted towards the bigger but it, that's an interesting um it's just interesting to to witness that um so here we have the limerick junior soccer league um so these look after junior and youths and they have a limerick limerick county district league um that looks after the schoolboys. then below that and uh, this was one that i found quite interesting because obviously with the the kerry the kerry league of ireland team um and that that's going on so you can see the strength here and and this is something interesting as well because you can see 4.5 and 4.7 so a real strong following for for the um the 11 aside game down in 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 kerry and um you know you can see 4.7 here on social media and um, that's that's interesting so they're doing stuff there that's uh, connecting with the community and they're working on that side of things. The Cork Youth Leagues um, are a, a specific uh, league that kind of looks after the youths that kind of under 17, under 18, maybe some under 19s. So they, they, they again, we talked earlier on about the affiliates f um, uh, providing niche uh, products uh, for teams. Remember, um, very often, uh, as a, as a player gets older, they might feel they might feel that the, the the current league they were in isn't good enough, or not good enough, but not focused enough on what their needs are. So these affiliates are uh, focused on providing services to the teams that are at that uh, at that um, time in their football journey. For example, over 35s, or for example, five aside, six aside, like inter sevens, or so or uh, the mini football association so that's how the affiliates work the affiliates are like um service providers and um, who are tailored to your needs as a footballer and a football team then we have the waterford um junior league again very set up like that and they also have the waterford school girls league wsfl with a d very good following here and a strong um, 18 leagues with 26 clubs, 160 teams, with t just under 2,500 players. Now, this is a really interesting one. Uh, the Cork Business League, a.k.a. Cork Shipping League, originally set up as, it was called the Cork Shipping League because it, 
it's it's a business league and i like this one because again it shows um a league that's affiliated to the mfa or the most uh, football association but it's very much um centered around providing companies uh, who set up teams to play in this business league and it's they they have a really good website really strong branding and uh, this is an interesting um i find these kind of leagues quite interesting because again they show an affiliate really trying to provide or continuing to provide what they provide for years and uh, they provide football in a, in a different way um, obviously it's super competitive but you know they have their roots in this kind of com uh, uh, corp uh, not corporate but a uh, business oriented work leagues uh, situation so they probably have you know maybe more access to to sponsorship and funds like that i don't know how it works but it's i i like it i like the way it's set up um Clare district league here and um, nice showing across the two in terms of social media um, numbers are low but very very well uh, represented and organized and um, very well organized here then we have the Munster Senior League so these would be the equivalent to the Leinster Senior League and it's the only place where you can play intermediate football in Munster and um, so it's set up like that with 2200 players nine leagues in total from the information that I ha I have available and they uh, ha they have 55 uh, uh, clubs I mean in those leagues with with 100 teams and um, partaking then we have the tipperary and this 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 gets a little bit uh kind of complicated around tipperary because um there's kind of north south tipperary and then there's kind of um so it, from my perspective it was a little bit difficult to look around um it was i could not get any information in the north tip district league it was really difficult they, they don't seem to have any kind of online presence and it was strange because the north tip schools boy football league the ntsfl actually are very strong very very strong and so it was kind of it was kind of strange i wasn't able to get very much information from the the north Tipperary district league on the flip side of that the Tipperary southern district league i was able to get decent information again all the information that i have here is is very often it's approximate unless i've actually been able to delve into each of the leagues and count all the teams etc and the tipperary south schoolboys district league uh 24 as you can see here um there's 24 leagues there running and nearly 2,000 players playing with a decent uh, social media following as well so then we have um, what's called the Limerick Desmond Football League as somebody with absolutely uh, very poor geographical knowledge of, of, of our own country except if, as if, if I've been there um, I wasn't sure what uh, the Desmond part I thought it was another nick but I understand it is an area of Limerick and so the Limerick Desmond Football League um, is is a kind of a, a junior side junior league there but it has its schoolboys and it has its ladies and it was lovely to see uh, a separate ladies um, league running here. Now, this is only a small kind of um, Facebook post. I'm not even sure if it's the real uh, Facebook page. I'm not even sure if it's a real one. But what it what it did indicate was that, um, it, it, you know, it is, in my opinion, it's 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 important to provide these leagues with their own branding. Um, and their ability to generate their own, their own, um, their own following, um, and develop their own brands um, within, of course, the same, the same kind of uh, affiliation, if you know what I mean. So the other thing uh, we looked at was, and uh, this is, yeah, I like this one. This is the West Waterford and East Cork League. So again, they should maybe, you know, if I had it based on geographical location, I would move these up. But this is, uh, I couldn't find these on, 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 on Facebook or in terms of their social media presence. The information wasn't great in terms of what they had available, but I did my best. Um, but they're, they're lying down here. The West Waterford and East Cork Leagues are down here in in terms of their social media following so again i have kind of created this kind of quasi league table of online presence and that's only 
it's only to, to to just show something when we look at it at, 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 as an overall but um so that's that is the monster football association um, I may be missing uh, one or two. I, I, I really don't know. I'm hoping that people can help fill me in on that uh, over time. But And then I'll, fin I'll go on to the next two in just a moment. <laughs> 